Welcome to Friendship Today. I'm your host, Victoria Salas. And I am Juan Raymer. Friendship Today is produced by Audio Video to students at Friendship High. We would like to start this episode with a story about family and consumer science culinary arts teacher, Michelle Gordon. Ms. Gordon has a positive effect on all the students in her program. Um, I teach culinary arts here at Friendship High School. Um, this is my fifth year here at Friendship and I love it. I teach six classes of culinary arts. I hope they like it. Um, sometimes I think there's a misperception of you just get to you just get in this class to eat. Um, but there's a lot more to it, learning about the food industry and how to properly um, be safe and sanitary in the kitchen. Because um, we are, I am trying to prepare them for the restaurant industry, whether or not that's what they want to do. Mm, masks, that's, that's a hard one. Um, we have not cooked yet, but that will be um, tricky in the kitchen. Um, just, just trying to be good about that and keep them on since we'll be in close proximity in the kitchen. Um, well, we're keeping our masks on and we're um, wiping down, you know, commonly used items like markers and scissors the best that we can. You know, just, just trying to be mindful and respectful of everyone around us. I like Ms. Gordon because she's a really fun teacher and like, we have lots of fun in that class. She teaches us how to like, be properly clean when we're in the kitchen and she gives me food. And like, I get to eat in her class a lot. So right now we're working on a food truck project um, where students came up with their own food truck idea and what they would want to sell. And um, it's kind of a mess right now because we were right in the middle of it. But next week they will um, get to present these projects to investors that will come and um, choose, invest in their favorite food trucks. The Friendship Tiger Band has a long history of success. This year, the band has a new band director, Dr. Ryan Smith. Uh, my name is Dr. Ryan Smith. Well, I'm the uh, official head director here at uh, Friendship High School, so I teach band. Um, we do them, I you know, all us directors help out with all the ensembles, and so uh, all the directors, we do the marching band. Uh, specifically, I, have a, I also do the top ensemble, which is called the honors band. That's a great question. Uh, you know, it started really early for me. Uh, when I was a junior in high school, uh, I was personally a trumpet player. And so I knew for, right from then, just I really enjoyed playing my trumpet and that music was something I really wanted to do uh, for a career. And so I went to school and studied to, uh, started off to wanting to be a professional trumpet player and then realized that I had a lot more fun uh, in front of an ensemble than sitting in the back in a practice room and so I knew I wanted to be a teacher probably about my uh, freshman sophomore year in college. I did my undergrad degree, uh, my bachelor's degree at Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas um, and then I uh, did some graduate work at Baylor University as well and then finished my master's degree at uh, Stephen F. Austin State University. Uh, and then after teaching for a while, I uh, did my doctoral work at Texas Tech University. Well, you know, this is definitely uh, a strange year to start a, a new job anywhere um, with the COVID stuff going on. But, you know, so far it's, it's been a great, it's been a great, uh, great start to the year. Uh, you know, I've lived here in the area. I know Friendship's such a, a, a great school. Uh, and so we're, we're all doing the best we can, but you know, with the social distancing and teaching music that way. Uh, but it, it's, been, it's been a great job. Students are doing great. The staff, we're all working our, you know, working our tails off, trying to make sure everything is done properly and then the, you know, making the best music we possibly can. Well, I'm absolutely looking forward to that first football game, that first Friday night football game. Uh, it's definitely a little bit later in the year than what we were expecting um, before we got started since it's in September instead of uh, end of September instead of early September end of August. Uh, but you know we're all we've been rehearsing since 
into July trying to get ready for this and so I think we're all just trying to trying to pace ourselves to get amped up for that very first football game. We really have a full band rehearsal uh, from home but students can still prepare their music individually and then be ready to get put it back together when we all are able to come back to school. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly I found my voice and learned all the ways I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. The National Honor Society is a nationwide organization for high school students that emphasizes academic achievement, leadership, service, and character. We were able to be at the special ceremony where they inducted their new members. I would like to begin by thanking all of the parents, teachers, and administrators here today. You have all been a rock to these students during these trying times that are behind us and uncertain times that are surely ahead of us. To be inducted before me, congratulations. Thank you for your time, your commitment, and your hard work. Each of you truly deserves the honor that is being given to you today by your induction into this amazing society that we have. I can't wait to see the awesome things that y'all are preparing to do this school year and the amazing life that y'all are going to be to this community. Oh, the requirements to get into NHS, you're invited the fall semester of your sophomore year and the fall semester of your junior year if you're not already a current member. You have to have a 90 GPA. And then um, you go through an evaluation process at the faculty council, which is made up of five teachers that have nothing to do with NHS. They just volunteer their time. And they evaluate each candidate and determine whether or not um, they're a good NHS candidate. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. So this year our faculty council has approved that our members only have to do 20 hours of service for the year. So we're cutting their hours back by 10 hours. Um, we're going to focus more on small group activities due to COVID-19, individual activities that you can do at home. We're still going to be taking donations and doing donations and things like that. Instead of meeting as a large group, we're going to be meeting online through, ed through watching a video. Our officers are making videos for the meetings. Our donations will be basically the same. Um, for example, for September, we're going to do a donation to Children's Advocacy Center where members can bring a bear or in a blanket um, for hours. And then of course we always encourage our members to do um, come up with their own project ideas. The installation of any group of officers is an important and serious occasion. The National Honor Society is founded upon the principles of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. In all your undertakings, may you always keep in mind these guiding principles. A candle is but a simple thing. It starts with just a bit of string, yet dipped and dipped with patient hand, it gathers wax upon the strand, until complete and snowy white, it gives at last a lovely light. I would like to congratulate the new members of NHS. Thank you all for coming today. We are dismissed. School spirit plays a special role in the high school experience, and who better to help spread that spirit than the cheerleaders? We caught up with Miss Casey Smith to talk about cheerleading here at Friendship High. Well, 
I'm Casey Smith. I'm the cheer coach. I've been here for 15 years and the cheer coach for 11, I guess. Um, right now, it looks a little different because of COVID. Obviously, um, masks are required the whole time, except for whenever we're doing active participation, when, which means like when we do our stunts. Um, girls are making sure that they're keeping their hands washed and sanitized, and we're just trying to maintain a normalcy um, as much as we possibly can. Right now, we're just keeping it to the class period, the 90-minute class period. Um, we usually have some practices outside of school, but we're just trying to keep exposure minimum. So right now, we're just practicing during the school time. Uh, I'm Brooke Walton, and I do cheerleading at Friendship High School. Well, we have to wear a mask all the time together when we're like stunting and stuff, which is not fun because can barely breathe out of your mask and yeah it's just it's very very different um, just hopefully doing pep rallies hopefully and just being with my cheer group I want to say it's actually kind of made it a more positive experience I know that sounds crazy if you think about it but We've had to find new ways to like bring ourselves together and to stay positive. And because of that, we've kind of come out of our comfort zone. We've bonded quicker. We had to do camp completely different than we've ever done before. Um, and I just, I just feel like we're just so grateful for anything that we get to do that it's actually been a more positive experience for us because it shows us that we can still make lemonade out of lemons. It may be football season, but we're already thinking ahead to what you might ask. Well, basketball. I'm the uh, head boys basketball coach here at Friendship, and this is my uh, seventh year here, seventh season here. So, uh, um, got here in, in 2014, uh, the time that uh, Friendship went to uh, 6A. Uh, so, I've been here uh, during that time, and, and we've had uh, had a great run here, and so we're excited about this upcoming season. Well, obviously, it's it's going to be different because of uh, you know obviously the the changes uh, due to COVID and. So it's going to be a lot of unknown. Uh, we, we, you know, day to day, week to week, and uh, throughout the season, you know, there'll be opportunities for uh, games that uh, may be uh, changed or, or canceled. And so we have to be flexible. We have to be uh, uh, open to, to that and, and understand that, uh, you know, it's going to be one of those seasons where you just have to uh, have to be able to adapt on the fly. And so, you know, that's that's a challenge. But obviously, we work every day to to meet challenges and so we, we hope to be able to re be ready to do that come November. I like it. I mean, it's not like other schools where they have to get up at like 6 a.m. So I like it. Uh, just having to wear a mask most of the time and having to social distance a lot. Uh, yeah, we wear it when we lift, but when we run, we're allowed to take it off. We work hard. You know, that's kind of our identity. We talk a lot about uh, um, how important it is to establish a, a hardworking DNA. Uh, and, and that doesn't just happen uh, you know, occasionally. Uh, you have to do that every day uh, to, 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 set, to get that mentality and, and to set that type of uh, tone that you want to play with. You, you have to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. So practice for us is, is not easy. Uh, we, we expect a lot from our guys and we demand a lot from our guys. And so, uh, but they understand that that, that that eventually is going to translate into the game where you have to be ready to play uh, and play hard uh, for 32 minutes. So. Uh, that's our expectation every day is, is to come ready and, and come ready to play hard and practice hard. Thanks for joining us for Friendship Today. If you have a story idea, please share it with us at the email on the screen. Also, do not forget to go to Facebook and like our Friendship TV page where you can see all kinds of videos and images from around Friendship ISD. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time on Friendship Today.